Hello, occupational therapy students. This is Stephanie once again from PASA OT. In our last video, we went over clinical simulation breakdown for neurological conditions, section A. And in today's video, I will be going over clinical simulation breakdown for neurological conditions in section B. So here's the scenario. An OTR is working in an acute care hospital and receives orders to evaluate and treat a patient with a, with a diagnosis of acute right cerebral vascular accident with left-sided hemiplegia. A brief chart review completed prior to evaluation revealed that the client is a 76-year-old female with a history of type 2 diabetes. She lives in her own home with her husband. When the OTR enters the room, the patient makes eye contact and says hello. The patient attempts to sit up in bed but is unable to voluntarily position her left arm and her left leg as she moves from supine to sitting. She asks the OTR for a brush while pointing to her water jug. So in section B, the OTR has determined that the patient has left hemianopsia. What standardized test should the OTR use to determine the extent of the patient's visual perceptual limitations? And remember, you need to select the best three choices. So the answer choices are A, Bell's test, B, trail making test, C, motor visual Motor Free Visual Perception Test, MVPT, Developmental Test of Visual Perception, 3rd Edition, E, the BIRI, F, the Frogsted Developmental Test of Visual Perception. So we need to know that getting to the answer should be simple. So it's important to ask yourself, number one, when I look at the answer choice, I realize that they are all related to standardized assessments and they are typically used to assess visual perception. So in number two, what information do we know about the patient? Well, we know that the patient is 76 year old female, acute right CVA with history of type two diabetes, admitted to acute care hospital, presents with left hemiplegia, and when attempts to sit up in bed, she is unable to voluntarily position her left arm and her left leg as she moves from supine to sitting, which is suggestive of a hemiparesis paralysis. She makes eye contact and says hello, which is appropriate. When asked for a brush while pointing to her water jug, which may be an indication of hemianopsia, visual inattention, neglect, or visual agnosia. She is married and lives with her husband in her own home. So in step three, we can conclude that the answer needs to address, that we need to address that identifying the three standardized assessments that can be used to assess hem hemianopsia adult population. So in number four, let's definitely look at our options. So when we look at the answer choice A, the Bell's test, well, we know that it assesses visual neglect in the near extrapersonal space. It is a cancellation task that is widely used for the diagnosis of unilateral spatial neglect. B, trail making test, is a neuropsychological test of visual attention and task switching. It can provide information about visual search speed, scanning, speed of processing, mental flexibility, as well as executive functioning. It is also sensitive to detecting several cognitive impairments, such as Alzheimer's disease and dementia. When I look at C, the Motor Free Visual Perceptual Test, MVPT, it is a widely used standardized test of visual perception. Unlike other typical visual perception measures, this measure is meant to assess visual perception independence of motor ability. It was originally developed for use with children. However, it has been used extensively with adults, and the MVPT-4 includes new norms for ages 4 to 80 plus years. It measures visual perceptual limitations, including deficits in form constancy, figure ground discrimination, visual measure, and visual closure. When I look at answer D, the DTVP-3 is designed to assess visual perceptual and visual motor integration skills of children from 4 to 12 years of age. This test would, be, would not be appropriate. The developmental test of visual perception adolescent and adult version of this test would be appropriate. Well, with E, the BIRI, it's also known as Developmental Test of Visual Motor Integration, or, M or VMI, measures visual motor integration in children and adults. It is designed to identify deficits in visual perception, fine motor skills, and hand-eye coordination. It does not measure hemianopsia. And when we look at answer B, the Frogsted Developmental Test of Visual Perception is normal age for 
four to eight-year-olds, and it definitely would not be appropriate. So now let's cross-reference. So we know that the answers are A, B, and C, the Bell's test, the trail-making test, and the MVPT. So these are all measure or have an elements that me that measure hemianopsia. The MV the M the MVPT third edition is normal on children up to the age of twelve. So this test would not be appropriate. The developmental test of visual perception adolescent and adult is the version of this test that would be appropriate. And the Beery um, developmental test of visual motor integration is designed to measure visual perception, not hemianopsia. So the answers are A, B, and C. If you have any further questions, let us know. You can also make comments below. We look forward to helping you pass the exam. And make sure to sign up for your free trial at PassTheOT.com. Stay tuned for Section 4.